up on this. Friday. I like to call it Margarita Friday. Tina. Yeah, is it? I'm feeling your sister. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Brendan, Brendan, uh, what's going uh, there? I'm doing my uh, Devo yeah. impersonation. <laughs> Do you dance too? No. You sing? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Just just the glasses, huh? Yeah. Actually, I actually brought right. mine. All right. Well, he just uh, looks good, what? pretty much. <laughs> Was everybody getting these glasses? We have a big 3D segment coming up in today's show. Oh, part, that's part of the show, right. which will yeah. be broadcast in 3D. So kids. Get in your closet and uh, you ask your parents what these are. Dig and out then the go. blues and the reds. Right. So if you've look. got 3D glasses, you'll need them later in the show. Tina? That's very exciting. I'm, I can't <laughs> wait. I'm curious to see how it's going to work. I want to see the whole report. Can't take on you seriously it. with those glasses on? Thank yeah. you. You know, I'm kind of, you're just like, it's so you, cool though. You look really good. You actually. like that? Yeah, Thanks, it's I appreciate really working that. for you. That kind of that boxy glasses kind I, of thing. I appreciate very that. Hip. Very you know, you know, I just want to say to you, I want to say I think you do a heck of a job on this show. I really have a lot more respect for you now that I've done an hour live daily with you every week. Thanks, Sarah. I feel smarter. That's awesome. Hey, still coming up, Brendan makes a play for Pierce Brosnan's gig, and I hope you spend this break digging up some old blue and red glasses because the show is in 3D when we come back. Now, with Robert Rodriguez churning out stuff like The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl and even George Lucas and James Cameron talking about taking the extra-dimensional leap, 3D is a very hot topic right now. David Randolph emerges once again from his lab to show us how to do it ourselves. Welcome back, Dave. Thanks, thanks. All right, so you've built a 3D camera kit here. It, it looks fascinating. How'd you do it? Well, if you remember a couple weeks back, we actually took the CVS camera mm -hmm. and hacked it, put a little USB port on it. Right. And I had a few extras, so we decided to make a 3D uh, version out of it. Cool. Basically, I just put a bar on here. And if you mount the two lenses about two and a half to three inches apart, which is ideal, you don't want to go any further than that. Okay. And how? And why, why is it two and a half to three inches? Is there a reason? Uh, well, your eyes are about two and a half to three inches for oh, the average person. Oh, okay. So you can't, if you get it too close or too far away, it won't work. It's going to hurt your eyes and it just won't look real enough for okay. you. Okay. Gotcha. And then basically what I did is I soldered points inside the, on the record button and ran them down to one switch right here. And that way, they both start at the exact same time. Cool. And that way, when we bring it into our editing software, we'll be able to match it up and actually make it red and blue. Okay, so it's important to note that you, 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 we've, we've started here, but now we're going to have all this footage that we need to make 3D for the end user. How do we get to that point? Well, you go ahead and just upload all your footage to the computer. All right. And then you're going to need a program called Movie Converter. Uh, because the other software we're using to edit won't take an AVI file that's uh, with DivX or XVID on it. Gotcha, and that's what it's coming out of the cameras as. Right, so we have to convert it to another AVI file. And then after that, we can go ahead and import it into a program called Avid Free DV. Uh, which is free. Which is perfectly free. Awesome. But it's the same software as the professionals use, just with a little more limitations to it. Okay. And basically what you'll do is you'll go ahead and drop the blue video on your first track, and then you'll go ahead and modify and make a red video, put that on your second track. Okay. And then we just drop a superimpose right on top of it, and that kind of blends the two images together, kind of fades halfway between them both. And is it pretty easy to make the red and the blue? Real easy. I mean, it's a very simple effect. I mean, if you actually look at it, all you do for the blue is you look up here and you'll see all I did is just pull the red back and leave the green and blue up. You're done. So it's just a, just a matter of uh, making the colors look about right, and you've got your two tracks. Okay. Now. We said a little bit earlier in the show to get your 3D glasses out, so hopefully you have them. Put them on, put on your 3D glasses, and take a look at the magic shot on these very cameras.
information on how David put all of this together, check out our show notes at attackoftheshow.com. And for more info on Dave's projects, go to DaveRandolph.com. Thank you. Mm, pleasure. You're such a star. <laughs> <laughs>